camera's rolling. <laughs> camera's rolling, so don't say anything bad or incriminating. Don't say anything incriminating. Because I've, I've done that before, and then not realise that, oh, that's what I forgot, I forgot my hat. Oh. Good day for a sauna, for a not particularly long, but, but a couple of steep sections walk. Yes. Up hey. there in the bush somewhere. Up there somewhere. How many points is this one? This is four pointer. Four point soda summit. And a communication site. All of the all of the locks. The locks upon locks upon locks. So how long have you been doing soda, Jim? Um not quite two years. Not quite two years. Started at Boyle Head. You done more summits than me. I've been a bit slack on mine. So got my license, my foundation license December. Um, almost two years ago. I was like bush walking, so I was sort of melding the two. And I'm trying to set a goal. 100 points a year. Yeah. That'll get me the goat before I'm 60. <laughs> the soda goat, the soda goat. Which soda is goat. how many? A thousand points. A thousand points. And... Yeah, they're not drive-to summits that we've got here. Well, no. apart from this one. But we decided that we want to get fit, so we decided to, to walk. walk this one. Which is going to be a regret that we have later. So what do you prefer, soda or poda? Or both? Soda. Soda? Soda. Just more challenging? I like to suffer. Like to suffer. <laughs> like to suffer. It's amazing how soda and um, poda have really like taken over popularity in amateur radio like everyone's like i love getting outdoors especially walking to the top of mountains because you sort of feel a bit of a sense of achievement when you get to the top yeah like today's a lovely day absolutely beautiful for walking out here in the great australian bush that up there that's where we're going this isn't even the steep bit yet no the steep bit's up there. I'm getting over a cold too. <coughs> Seems uh, Mr. Tangle Whiskers made his smart comment that I was going to break something. Yeah. This t shirt's in honour of him. Because <laughs> <laughs> I will break something. There's a bit of rivalry going on in our uh, radio club amongst soda operators, isn't there? It's good. A bit of healthy rivalry. I think it's fair to say that Justin breaks his antennas at home <laughs> and I break my antennas in the field. <laughs> so what happens is you yeah. pretend that someone else is actually shooting the, the footage and then you just use this B-roll and you walk past the camera in the end. So now the pain begins. Now the pain begins. An indication of how steep this is about to get. You just, you take, you take your time with these things. My watch is told me a couple of times, have you finished your workout, you keep stopping. See, I reckon what you're doing Hayden, is you're taking an old fella with you. And so that's your excuse when you stop. To look good. <laughs> I think I'm huffing, I'm huffing. I think this is what, I think this is what they, uh, they um, refer to in our country as taking the piss. So if you'd stop your whining and your sulking, we could go a bit faster Hayden. <laughs> I have been whining, I've been whining, I forgot my hat get sunburned. Oh, look at him go now, the camera's on, powering for the camera. Are we going to stop in a minute? We're going to stop, we're doing half pole stops. So these power poles, we'll get halfway between them. That's when we stop. But I think, judging by the grade of the road, it's going to be quarter power, power pole stops. We also do eights. Do eights. <laughs> We're almost to the big switchback. That's not too far away. No. We're at the first switchback, the first and only one. It only gets all, all uphill from here, Jim. Thanks for the motivation, mate. <laughs> oh dear. So that's where we've, that's where we've been. That snakes its way up and up towards the summit. Is this where we're moving to uh, half lengths, sorry, eighths of quarter lengths between power poles? We can do whatever you want. Yes, this is very slippery. Coming down here. 
this used to be smooth. So I reckon they've, they've washed away a little bit. So it means that it's probably gonna be a little bit easier to come down. Why do we put ourselves through this? It's fun, mate. <laughs> it's fun. Come on, mate, you're enjoying this. <laughs> enjoying what? You're enjoying this, you're loving it every step. <laughs> I just come here to look at the towers. Here we are, the first of three towers. Right, what antennas can we see up here? Dishes, hold a dipole for FM radio right at the top. All sorts of cool stuff on this tower. And here's the baby tower. Look at that, a couple of spare feeders for us. Hook up a couple of antennas. There we go. Beauty. So you're gonna activate from here. So old Jim's setting up over there. Got the baby tower here. Low band dipole. It's like a low band Yagi. Couple of UHF Yagis. Verticals. Couple of dishes. And this was the other tower that I was talking about, which this is the Telstra tower, which has, that's a massive dish on it. It's huge, but there is a white vertical. I think that white vertical is actually for television, TV. And right at the top, so that's a TV translator, antenna. Right at the top, you just see those 70, oh those, not 70, VHF dipole array that you saw earlier. That's for the TAS uh, government radio network. So quite a big tower, this one. Right, I'm pole holding. You're pole holding. I'm pole holding while you run, run out the guys. Hold the pole, Hayden. Hey? Hold the pole, I am holding the pole. I'm on the pole. Oh, <laughs> that made something different. Whoops. <laughs> I feel like a council worker. So the theory is. Here he is, I let go of that and it doesn't fall over. On what, Donkey Kong? Right. So now I need an antenna and a feed line. So you, we're just running the link dipole, is that right? Yeah, uh, I was going to put up the link dipole. Yep. But if you have a preference to go the uh, K6ARK end feed, I've, I've bought that in the back end as well. So oh. how about you choose? End fed. Enfed, we could probably run at least to one end. Dipole, you need two ends. Correct. So, should we do Adam Proud and... Uh, right. He's got, we got his, I just noticed, you've got his sticker here on the pole, so maybe we should uh, right, give, give, it, it give, it, give it a crack and see how that goes. We better not tell Adam yeah. that it took me three goes to build his kit properly <laughs> because I was Mr. Fumble Fingers and I was being too quick and too rushed. And when I finally slowed down and was careful and checked every joint as I went, then it worked. Then it worked, yeah. But when I was rushing the first two times, so sometimes just gotta, there you go. There it is, Adam's kit. And if you wanna get one of these kits, you can get them off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below for, uh, for those that wanna get Adam's uh, smallest. Smallest little ballon in here, it's absolutely tiny. You've used this on a couple of activations now, haven't you? I have. I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and do, it's four contacts, isn't it, for an activation? Four contacts. So I'm gonna try and do, uh, I've got the handheld. For a bit of a challenge, I'm gonna try six meters off the handheld with the VX8 and just see if I can get four contacts on this and then I can activate using that. And that'll be local, obviously. And then you've got the, you've got HF. Great job. If we need more power. 705, weapon, 705, weapon of choice. Antenna is up. K6ARK, end fed half wave goes down there over to the tree. And I am going to start on six first. Siki Soda, Siki Soda, this is Victor Kilo 7, Hotel Hotel, VK7HH on 52525, looking for any calls. Explains why you're a good Oh, he's got six meters as well. Ah, you've got six we'll meters as well. Them. I'll grab you. I'll grab you in the log first. Uh, you are uh, five by nine. Five by nine, Scott. Over. Yeah, likewise. Five by nine. 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 Five by
cameras on the uh, Linko here with the little LED segments, there are no more lit up, so yeah, good signal. Oh, excellent. I'm only on the little handheld running uh, 5 watts. Uh, Jim's just uh, setting up on uh, on 40 metres himself. 5959. Five, nine. Thanks, Scott. You are my first ever contact on 6 metres from a summit. There you go. Uh, back here. Oh, and you doubled with him. <laughs> oh, no, and I doubled with you. I was going to say, I copied 59. You're also 59. And thank you, Scott. You're my first ever contact on 6 metres from a summit. There you go. It's a band that gets addictive. CQ Summits, CQ Summits, CQ Summits. This is Victor Kilo 7 Juliet Zulu VK7 JDZ. Ah! <laughs> That's your old call sign. That's song. my old call sign. <laughs> ah. uh, it's still correct, but it's an old one. Hang on, let's start again. There's always one, isn't there? So, so, so we've just, we've just, we activated here, we've, we've made the four contacts, but we got on HF and HF was a little bit sad. We didn't have as many contacts as we thought. There's a lot of noise here. Yes. Being around all of the towers and associated RF noise, I'm sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back down across the road and hopefully get away from that noise just inside the activation zone and, and try again, just so we can get a few more on HF. That'd be nice. It would be nice. Yes. It's a long, it's a long way to carry a HF radio and only get two contacts. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so the good thing about soda is that you could still activate if you're under 25 metres below the elevation of the summit. And here at this location, we're further down the hill. So we are sitting at about 23, 24, so we're good to go. So this time we're gonna go with the link dipole. Yep. Sorry, Adam. <laughs> Pole is up. So now we're gonna, which way do you wanna run? Um, Parallel with the road? Yeah. Parallel with the road? Yeah. So I'm gonna go and I'm going to find myself a tree. This is brilliant camera work. It just needs to hold tension, so it doesn't even need to. You don't even need to tie it off. I'm just going to leave it there in the bush. Tied around the bush. One B and C coax end for you. Thank you, good sir. One battery to share with you. Hopefully, we get less noise down here. Over. Roger, Roger. Thanks for the five and five. You're also five and five into uh, Garrigan. And I've got your, uh, your there, over. Yeah, VK3, Yankee Victor, VK7 Hotel Hotel. G'day there, uh, Tony, how are you? 5x5, five 55, five, over. Yeah, good g'day, Hayden, hope you're well, mate. Uh, out and about up a mountain today, uh, too. Uh, you're also 5x5, five five, mate, over. Yeah, QSL, thanks for the 5x5. Five five. Yeah, we're just, uh, we're sitting here on the side of the, uh, side of the road in the, uh, on the track at the top of the mountain here. In the nice sunshine, it's an absolutely wonderful day down here in uh, in Hobart, over. Yeah, Roger, mate, I've been sitting outside myself and uh, taking advantage of that sun, so it's good to see it out uh, everywhere at the moment, mate. So that's uh, a very good week, over. Because the rain is coming, over. Yeah, I think it's coming for us at the end of the week as well, so uh, not looking forward to that. All right, no worries. Thanks for the uh, for the call. I'll pass it back around to Jim, and uh, we'll keep calling here and see if we can get a few more in the log, over. JG Zero. JG Zero, Alpha was dead. So now we're on 10 metres. I copy Japan Golf Zero Alpha Whiskey Echo. Japan Golf Zero Alpha Whiskey Echo. QSL. Three by three, I think. What are we going to call him? Oh. Three one. Three one. It's really hard. Bit old school using a old, book, isn't it? Old school paperwork. Well, I am an old man. <laughs> right, that's Mount Mangana. That was the weekend. Here we go, hearing back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And the notable internationals were New Zealand and Japan. New Zealand and Japan. We switched, so, to, we switched to 10 metres late and we were rewarded with, with a very weak Japan signal. So. Yeah. Uh, Juliet Golf Oscar, sorry, Juliet Golf Zero Alpha, Alpha, Whiskey, Echo. Alpha Whiskey Echo. Yeah. There was a New Zealand. And ZL3 Quebec Romeo. Mm. Well, 
good activation. Good afternoon. Ah, uh, good afternoon. To get out and about. Thank you very much, mate. Now we did the heavy backpack. we did a poder activation the other week. If you want to watch that, then it will appear on the screen here.